In this session, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the address book or the company address book in Microsoft Outlook to send messages out to find the addresses and then add them to the blind copy or to the copy field for sending emails out to other users. So to create a new message, we click here on new email and then we can simply either type the address or the individual where we want to send this message to over here and then remember you need to put semicolons to separate them or you can use the address book. The address book you can access it either from here under address book and it will display the addresses like by clicking on name only or you can click on the to field over here and then click on the global address book. Under the global address book we can see the individuals or we can search by last name. I'm going to search for generic accounts for privacy purposes, of course. So let's say we want to search by last name. And notice the email address will be displayed on the right hand side. Other information uh, such as title and location and all that type of stuff will be displayed on the right hand side. To add it to this list of recipients, I can simply double click on it and it will be added under the to field or if I wanted this under the CC field, I can simply click here on CC after having selected this address. Or if I wanted in the blind copy field, and let me search for another address here, I can simply search for it, press go, select the right address book, and then go in the BCC field or any of the fields that I want this to be inserted or sent to. So you can search by simply navigating or you can search by more columns here and then typing in their last name or their first name and choose go and then put them in the right field area here and then click OK. Once you have them in this view, then you can type your subject and then type your message and all that type of stuff and then press send. That's how you can, in a nutshell, use the address book. I will also cover it in more detail, the using of the address book when we actually cover the contacts information here or the people option within Microsoft Outlook. One other feature here that I'd like to demonstrate before I move to the next segment is how to save this message as a draft. So there might be times where you're spending quite a bit of time in developing a, and, and uh, composing an email message, but then you have to run to a meeting or something you want to be, uh, you're distracted. How can you save this message? To save the message, all you have to do is, while you have it open, you click on save here, and then you can safely close this. Now, when you come back from your meeting, you can simply go here under the drafts folder, within your Outlook folder, and then you'll see the message that you had from before. Now here you can either keep on typing and add more content to this, or you can click on pop out and that'll bring it up in a bigger window and you can still keep on working with this message. Once you're ready, you can press send here and it'll send the message out. So that's how you can use the address book from Microsoft Exchange at your company or personal address books as well that you might have in your computer with a personal account. And that's how you also can save a message as a draft and be able to pull it back.